In the big rock candy mountains, all the cops have wooden legs, and the bulldogs all have rubber teeth, and the hens lay soft boiled eggs. The farmer's trees are full of fruit, and the barns are full of hay. Oh, I'm bound to go where there ain't no snow, where the rain don't fall, and the wind don't blow in the big rock candy mountains. After touring the beautiful Southern California coast, we drove back into the desert. Direction, Quartzsite, Arizona. We met Smitty and his dog Riley earlier in the season in Rachel, Nevada, and we went to go visit him in Quartzsite. Steve and Linda let us stay on their property altogether. That was very gracious of them. Smitty is a long time nomadic. He's been all over on his Harley Davidson, now lives in this 33 foot Winnebago. Smitty's neighbor, Ed, lives here in the winter with his dog Gizmo, has a great collection of curiosities in his yard. Yeah, I got just all kinds of stuff. And I, I found the, the old lucky loggers, and then I found the, the church key to go with it. Also staying in the desert soiree, two nomadic musicians, Gypsy Wagon. Lazy days of spring that just drifted along. Played a gig last night, was the best one far gone. Oh, we saw a friend shopping today. Dabble do ya in a rig like that. Yes, I'll say. Summer coming soon Honey, it's springtime, baby I'm singing here with you <laughs> but it's, To us, it's about what we can write together and, uh, and most of our original music comes directly from the heart And it's uh, about things that are going on that, that we feel other people are going to identify with I, I love Quartzsite because it's a crazy desert town where everybody I've met here is exactly who they want to be. Mm -hmm. Nobody really seems to judge you if you're a nudist or a homeless person or a million dollar businessman. It's the weirdest thing about Quartzsite. Quartzsite has like the energy where it wants new blood, where it wants new things that happen, but nothing's changed here in over 50 years. <laughs> We brought our music here and we shared it with as many as we can and now we're going to move forward and, and see where the road takes us. We'll be <laughs> over in Lake Havasu November and December mm -hmm. and then after January I don't know where we're going. We're kind of anywhere USA. Smitty took us out and showed us around the outlying areas of Quartzsite in his trusted four-wheel drive vehicle. We were glad for that because our old minivan, Betsy, she couldn't drive on these trails. So thanks for that, Smitty. This is all BLM land, or most of it, meaning it's controlled by the Bureau of Land Management, which means... It's your land. You can stay there and camp there as you like. Do what you want. Uh -huh, right on. Quartzsite, Arizona is a unique place. It's really a nothing town in the middle of the desert, yet swells up to about 200,000 people in the height of the season. 200,000 nomads, people that live in their RV, in their trailer, in their van, all sorts of campers of different shapes and sizes. It is 
a subculture. Welcome to Beer Belly's Adult Daycare, Quartzsite, Arizona. RV Mania. Barb, the owner of Beer Bellies, was spontaneous enough to hire me to play there for three days in a row, and it was a good gig. Dana and I travel, the more we realize that everywhere we go, people are good, no matter where they're from. Left, right, up, down, right or wrong. Everybody has a story and everybody struggles and that's what we all have in common. That's life. <laughs> Thank you.